Tell about when you really got injured on the Bears turf. Uh, you lost all the feeling on your left side and you thought mm -hmm. your career might be over. I thought my career over. was over. Uh, I mean, injuries do come. And, um, and I never thought I would get injured faking like I had a football. <laughs> and so we had a play down on the goal line where I tried to act like I had the ball and I was diving over the top. And I came down awkwardly on my shoulder, pinch, pinch maybe a nerve in my back. And uh, it didn't feel good. And, and I lost a feeling on, on the side, on my, I want to say on my left side. And they carted me off. And, and I was, and all I could see was the moon. And so coming off the field and going in, into the stadium, underneath the stadium, and everybody's circling around you and talking and you can't see them, but all you can do is move your eyes left and right, can't move your head. And, and all of a sudden Walter Payton shows up right over my head, whispering in my ear, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. Kissing me on the forehead, talking to Rich, talking to everybody in there. I didn't even know he was in the stands at the time. And, uh, and so it, 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 it comforted me uh, for the moment. Uh, but my idol was standing right over me. It was a great thing to know that he was there. And, um, and so they whisked me off to the hospital. And I recall hearing him say to Rich, here's my number. If he needs anything, call me. Uh, just give me an update. And, and, and that was that. And so it was cool just to have him there. But moments like that are rare moments for, uh, injuries will occur. But to be injured and to have one of your idols actually come down and see on you, check on you, was mm -hmm. phenomenal. You first met Walter Payton at a 95 awards yeah. uh, ceremony, and he made a point of coming over and sitting next to you. What do you recall from what you guys talked about? We, we talked about everything under the sun. We talked about the game of football. We talked about his career. We talked about his work ethic. We talked about his eating habits. We talked about his recovery habits. We talked about transitioning from the game, business, and all those things. We talked about family. We talked about not losing yourself. We talked about all of those things. And uh, it seemed like a whole day, but it was probably a matter of an hour. <laughs> but having a conversation with someone that you look up to for so, looked up to for so long, and to have that insight from someone that is, was the ultimate or the consummate professional it was cool. His nickname was Sweetness, and yeah. you actually had, had on your sweet, Letterman I, I had jacket. Sweetness on my Letterman jacket in high school. In high school, right. <laughs> I mean, you really looked up to him growing up. What did he uh, ask you to do w oh, with well, his son? You know, uh, during, during the time when he, he, he got ill, I'd never, at that point in time in my life, I'd never seen a person with so much strength. Uh, to face his situation the way he did. There he was, a man that was actually dying, encouraging me. Um, and, and in return, I mean, basically, I had to ask the question, is there anything I could do? And uh, he said, no, he said, I'm good. He said, I'm at peace with where I'm at. He said, but every now and then just reach out to my son Jared and make sure that he's okay. Stay in touch with him and just be there for him if he needs you. And that was it. And I was like, that's not a problem. I would do that. He died at 45 yeah. years old and a few days after that the Cowboys are playing the Minnesota. Vikings. Yeah. And uh, you said that game that night was unlike anything you've ever experienced mm -hmm. before, including mm -hmm. the three Super yeah. Bowl victories. Because what? I felt his spirit that night, and I said, you know what? Tonight I want to dedicate this night to him. I want to go out, and I wanted it to be the best night I've ever had in my professional career. I wanted to go out and rush for over 275 yards and break his single-season rushing record. That's what I wanted to do. And, man, I was on a mission. I was on my way <laughs> until I broke my hand <laughs> in the uh, second quarter. And, um, but uh, it, that night was full of emotions because I wanted it for him. I wanted to do it for him. I wanted to say this night, this performance was dedicated to him. And it still, I mean, it still gets you a little emotional yeah, even. Yeah.
talking about yeah. to the stick. Mm -hmm. He he meant a yeah, lot. Yeah, I to mean, you. yeah, I mean, he did. I mean, he he was a he, he was a, a a great man, and uh, and I just loved the way he handled himself on the football field, handled himself off the football field. Even some of the referees that I joke around with, they say you you I remind them of him because I joke with them just the way he used to. And I didn't even know he used to joke with them. Yeah. But, but that's, you know, that's the ultimate compliment. When, when, when someone says that you remind them of someone that you looked up to as an athlete, that's, that's kind of cool.